I am Father Dion, the post-Catholic chaplain of the Headquarters and Headquarters Support Group, Philippine Army. And this is Salitan ng Diyos, ang ating gabay. Today is Saturday of the 22nd week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. While Jesus was going through a field of grain on a Sabbath, His disciples were picking the heads of grain, rubbing them in their hands, and eating them. Some Pharisees said, Why are you doing what is unlawful on the Sabbath? Jesus said to them in reply, Have you not read what David did when he and those who were with him were hungry? How he went into the house of God, took the bread of offering, which only the priest could lawfully eat, ate of it, and shared it with his companions? Then he said to them, The Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. There are three things that we can learn from today's Gospel. First, we see that Jesus prioritized compassion and human needs over rigid legalism. The Pharisees were so focused on following the letter of the law that they missed the spirit of it. Jesus, on the other hand, showed a deep understanding of the human condition and the need for flexibility and grace. As soldiers, we are bound by rules and regulations. We have the duty to uphold the laws of our land and protect its people. However, it is essential for us to remember that our ultimate mission is to serve and protect humanity in the heat of battle, or when faced with challenging circumstances, we must not lose sight of the human element, the lives and well-being of those we are called to serve. Secondly, this gospel reminds us of the importance of discernment. Jesus knew when to challenge the prevailing norms and when to uphold them. He understood the deeper purpose behind the law and used it as a means to bring about justice, mercy, and love. As members of the Philippine Army, we are often faced with complex situations that demand discernment. We must make decisions that balance the need for security with the principle of justice and humanity. It requires wisdom and a deep understanding of our values and the greater good we aim to achieve. Finally, today's Gospel emphasizes the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Jesus declares Himself as the Lord of the Sabbath, asserting His authority over the religious laws and customs of the time. This declaration highlights His divine nature and His ability to offer true rest and freedom to all those who follow Him. In our service to the nation, amid challenges and sacrifices, let us recognize that our ultimate allegiance is to a higher authority. As soldiers, we can find strength, guidance, and purpose in our faith. By acknowledging the Lordship of Jesus Christ in our lives, we discover an unwavering source of hope, courage, and perseverance. The today's Gospel teaches us the importance of compassion, discernment, and recognizing the Lordship of Jesus Christ. As soldiers of the Philippine Army, may we strive to embody these principles in our service to our country and our fellow Filipinos. Let us remember that our mission is not merely to enforce laws and maintain order, but to protect and uplift the lives of our fellow citizens. May God bless you all as you continue to serve with honor and dedication. And this is Salita ng Diyos. Ang ating gabay. Let us pray. Almighty and most loving Father, we come before you today with humble hearts, lifting up our Filipino soldiers who tirelessly serve our nation with courage, dedication, and sacrifice. In this moment, we specifically pray for their mental health, knowing that the challenges they face can weigh heavenly on their hearts and minds. We ask for your divine intervention and guidance to provide them with strength, resilience, and peace. Lord, grant them clarity of thought and wisdom 
and every decision they make help them to overcome the burdens of their duties and responsibilities and grant them the ability to find balance amidst the chaos. May they be shielded from the horrors of war and may their minds be guarded against the trauma and stress they encounter. We pray for healing for those who have already experienced the scars of battle, the emotional toll of witnessing violence, and the loss of their comrades. Bring comfort to their hearts, Lord, and surround them with understanding and compassionate support. Help them to find solace in their loved ones, in the camaraderie of their fellow soldiers, and in the knowledge that you are with them every step of the way. Lord, we ask that you bless the mental health professionals who work tirelessly to care for the emotional well-being of our soldiers. Equip them with the knowledge, compassion, and resources they need to provide effective support and intervention. Grant them the ability to recognize and address the unique challenges faced by our military personnel, enabling them to facilitate healing, renewal, and hope. May your peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard the hearts and minds of our Filipino soldiers, Surround them with your love, grace, and mercy, and remind them that they are never alone. Strengthen their resilience, renew their spirits, and restore their hope. In your boundless grace, we pray for the mental health of our Filipino soldiers, trusting that you will be their rock and their fortress. We offer this prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And may the Almighty God bless you and your family the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.